When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 60 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Greg Hansen. Greg, the Arizona Wildcats go to L.A., and I was thinking in honor of uh, their trip to La La Land that we just sing this entire one. Thoughts? Our producer, uh, Drew. Drew. Drew McCullough would not like that. Drew, Drew. Drew says no singing. Okay, what if I start with Alonzo Trier? <laughs> Nothing? Okay, fine. Hoops. Big weekend, big weekend. Sean Miller said last week that Arizona is going to need to play better than they have to even split oh, at yeah. USC and UCLA. Both of these teams are really good. Let's start with the Trojans. Uh, what? Uh, not very good in conference play so far, but we're really good in the months of November and December. What makes them tick? Terrific point guard, Jordan McLaughlin. Mm -hmm. um, Galen, the Galen Center is a home court advantage twice a year, and that's when Arizona and UCLA play there. Right. So they'll probably have 8,000 people there. Right. Last year when they, in the triple overtime game, it was really, really rocking. It'll mm -hmm. be like that. Mm -hmm. um, they've got five good players. Yeah. Um, if Elijah Stewart is hot, you might not have a chance to win. Right. I look at the one guy on their team that I think is just a load to guard, and, and he's funny because he's very up and down. Um, and I'm going to butcher the name, but uh, Chemezi Metu. Oh, Met to, and I don't know if it's just his size or, or the little shorts or what, but he is a guy who is going to be a matchup problem, even for the most athletic of teams. Um, and, I mean, he could go for 20 or he could be held to two. He's just very inconsistent. Yeah, he took advantage of Colorado's lack of inside height. Mm -hmm. um, Arizona will have the height to counter him. Mm -hmm. But he was really good against Arizona last year as a sub. Yep. He's one of the rising stars in the league. Yeah. With, with Dusan Ristic, I think he might be as improved as anyone in the league. Well, let's talk about Ristic here for a minute. This is a guy who I think we had both written off as a nice yeah. piece, but yep. not maybe a player, um, especially in the last two, three weeks. He is as good an offensive option as Arizona has. Oh, man. After the Colorado game here, the first thing Tad Boyle said when he stood in the corridor was, Dusan Ristic has improved more than anybody in the league. Wow. And um, he was very impressed by it, and I think we all are. Yeah. I didn't expect this out of him. No, not at, not at all. Let, let's move on to Saturday. Is the uh, I know the regular game is in February, but this is the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Arizona, UCLA, Poly Pavilion, 2 p.m. Game is on CBS over the air television. Greg, this is going to be huge. You've got the best UCLA team in a decade versus an Arizona team that I think can make the Final Four. Who wins, and, and what matchup are you watching? If Arizona beats UCLA and Poly this week. Yeah. They, Sean Miller is the coach of the century mm -hmm. because it will be one of the few times every seat will be full there. Right. All the students will be there. It'll be a madhouse. It'll be like some of those awesome games from the 1990s when right. Arizona went over there. Mm -hmm. And UCLA will give their best shot, obviously. Absolutely. UCLA has two players, I, I think, that are just incredible. Lonzo Ball, maybe peerless oh, yeah. in the Pac-12, maybe peerless nationally. He's a big man who likes to pass. He's not big. He's a big guard who likes to pass and, and is certainly proven to be uh, maybe their most dynamic player. And then you've got T.J. Leaf. Uh, Arizona fans know him well. You know, I've watched entire UCLA games this year. I almost never watch a 40-minute game, right. even when Arizona's. <laughs> <laughs> but UCLA, I, I can't stop watching them. Yeah. They're so entertaining. And the day of the year here is going to be the last week of February yep. when UCLA comes to Tucson. Right. That's Armageddon. Right. Um, this is, but round one in Poly Pavilion is going to be terrific. Right. The big question on everybody's mind, obviously, now is how full strength will Arizona be starting on Thursday? Uh, you've got the Alonzo Trier mess keeps going on. You've got Parker Jackson Cartwright. He's hurt, but he's getting better. Yeah. Um, will Arizona be, uh, will they have the bodies to, to hang with either of these teams? Yeah, I think they'll beat USC. Okay. I don't think they'll beat UCLA, but. I think we both know Alonzo Trier is uh, almost clear. Okay. That's the, the NCAA didn't impose a per-game ban on him. Right. They made him follow a process. Right. The process is this close to being over. Okay. So we're at the, if we're going to mix our sports metaphors here, he's like at the one-yard line. Yeah. Okay. And if he can punch it in, get eligible to play Thursday, and then again Saturday, those could be two really fun games to watch. And even if he doesn't play this week, uh, as you said, he's at the finish line. Wow. 
All right, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, who's the most despised UCLA Bruin of all time? Don McLean. Don McLean? Even Reggie Hansen. Miller, this close behind. Okay, Ray, okay, okay. I always thought it was funny. There, oh, God, who was their guard? Toby Bailey? No. J.R. Henderson? They're in the top five. Okay, they're in the top five. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys were incredible. Yeah. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. Thank you.